fever turn purple. Three, two, one. You challenge us to make a purple watermelon. First step is to cut a hole in the top. My thing's like all bendy right now. I like can't, you can't get it in right. Aha, uh -huh, get it. All right, next up, we gotta get the cabin. Three, two, one. Oh, just like that. All right, so, geez. Now don't do this at home, and if you do, make sure you have someone to help you out who's more experienced. Just gonna chop them up a little bit more because you gotta chop them up very finely. That's very important for this hack. So I like this here. And the crazy thing is, the cabbage actually acts as some natural food coloring. Wait, is it gonna taste like cabbage now? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Cabbage flavored watermelon? That, uh, that doesn't sound too good. I hope not. I'm watching a lot of chef shows. I think I got the technique down. It's all in the wrist, man. Just, just it wrist is? it. Yep, just wrist. What chef shows are you watching? It's all of them. Yours looks very chopped up. Yeah, it's uh, smelling like a cabbage in here right now, and it's time to make the food coloring. All right, next up is gonna add it all to my pan. So here we go. It's gonna pop it in here like this. Perfect. Ah. Next, we're gonna add water in, and then we're gonna let it boil for 15 minutes. Cabbages are all boiled down. Ooh, that stinks, bro. Let's mix it up. Whoa, right. dude, they've like turned blue what? as they melted down. Whoa. Oh. That's pretty crazy. It's pretty pungent. Okay. Just gonna dump it in. You ready? Three. You are you already going? Okay, yeah, we're going. Oh my gosh, dude, it's actually purple. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. I'm losing oh. cabbages. What? Did you get I'm some cabbages in there? Cabbage. Oh no, I lost some cabbages. Crazy how blue some. is turned. Now time to transfer it to our glass jar. So Devin, this is really where it comes down to skill because you cannot spill it. You pop this on top because Devin, I don't, I don't trust myself. Three, two, one. Okay, it's going in. Oh, I just spilled it. I spilled it. I spilled it now. Uh, Yo, I spilled it and it got on me, bro. I spilled okay. a little too. All in all, not too bad. Time to add it to the watermelon. Now it's time to see if this will actually turn it into a different color. So here we go. Got some turkey basters. Let's see if this actually turns blue within the turkey baster itself. Oh. Oh. I got it. It's I got so it. purple. Okay, what do we do next? All right, now we go. Let's go here on the top. Stick it in a little bit. There we go. On the count of three, we're going to spend two. We go one, two, three. Is yours going anywhere? No. Maybe we should remove it a little bit and then- Oh! oh it's overflowing a bit. And all the way, boom, to the top. The real question is, is it going to work? But more importantly, will it make the watermelon taste funny? We'll be trying that at the end of the video. You challenge us to do the shaving cream art challenge. And right now, I'm gonna fill up my slate right here. So this is kind of my canvas. Devin, how's yours going? It's going fantastic. It's like a picture frame. Wait, I can help you out if you need some no, help. No, 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 I'm good. All right, here we go. Just gonna use a little bit of a squeegee thing here. So we're gonna try to flatten off the top. Oh! <gasps> I have an idea. You're creating a boring flat piece of artwork. I'm going to create a 3D sculpture artwork. You ain't never seen that before. I feel <laughs> like I'm shaving the largest square face in the world. Dude, this reminds me of a zen garden. Mine reminds me of a mosh pit. Oh man, this is a difficult medium, bro. Here's wow. what's so funny about mine, bro. Look at this. It's like, it's yeah. like, oh, it's so jiggly. This is the pyramid of, of, of Shakrima. Oh snap, dude, I'm oh, going to hey, use these straws bumps. just like this to actually put the color into the middle of Mount Shakira. Dude, look at this. And dude, I have such a good idea for these straws. What? Careful. I'm sorry, these straws are going to allow me to implant Dude, the what? What did I just tell you? They're gonna allow me to implant the food coloring. Dude, you just bumped me again. Here we go. So we're just gonna put these in here like this. Let's get some food coloring. Gonna add some drops of yellow down here. And last but not least, we've got red right here. So we're just gonna add that in. And now that there's food coloring all in the middle of Mount Shakrima, it's time to add some on the outside. So just gonna add a couple little drops. Here we go. One. Two. I'm gonna add one over here. So we're just gonna go draw. Oh, that was a lot of green. Oops. Yellow drawing right down the center. It's like this. A whole stream of yellow going wow. right down like that. There we go. All right, time to set my shaving cream art. And as you do that, it's time to make my art over here. So now's the moment I've been waiting for. Time to mix it all up. So here we go. Shockingly, I don't really have an eye for this. You know what? I'm gonna remove the straws first. Oh, 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 it's working, it's working. Oh, uh, you think yours is working, bro? Check out mine, bro. Time to get in here with the hands and really make some great looking art. Look Why at your hand, dude. Oh, no. Here we go. It's got a Ouija, 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 Ouija. Now I got a piece of paper to complete my art. So here we go. Now we gotta let it sit, and you get to comment down below whose art do you think turned out better. We'll be doing the reveal of these at the end of the video. You challenge us to make the weirdest DIY candles ever, so right now, let's go. First up, we gotta shred some candles. So just Whoa, like, oh man, hey I now. Just, I'm gotta, using a cheese grater. Wow, look at this, bro. Oh, it looks so good. Don't try this at home, and if you do, make sure you have someone who's very experienced helping you out, because this is uh, not easy. Here we go. Yo, wait a minute, bro, this Whoa. works, look at this. Dude, this is the innovation at its finest right here, bro. Dude, how? Dude, I need that. All right, All right next up, I'm gonna use this knife here to kind of take off a bit of the edges. The thing is, you've got a curved blade. Why, Why? do you have a curved blade when you can eat these things? All right, it's gonna stick this on the top and then twist. Yo, dude, mine's kind of like a windmill in a way. It's like, wee. Whoa! Ooh. That's way too- Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Yeah, I almost lost all my progress! Oh, sorry. Three, two, one, scoop! Ah! Man, these are tough candles, bro. I dude. know, man. Uh, like, I think you're losing more than you're gaining, bro. Why would you do it on the edge of the table? Well, you can do it on a glass jar. That's it not works. a smart idea. If you could name your wick, then what would you name it? John. Yeah! Uh, 
We've got the oh. wax shaved down. Really, oh my dude. gosh. All right, now it's time to melt it. Before we can add the hot wax into the gloves, we need to cut little holes in the fingertips, thread the wick through those little holes, and then tape them together. Basically, you have to spread the glove out across the top opening of this bottle. So here we go. I'm almost there. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Get it? Okay, yep, there we I go. We've got the hot wax, and do not try this at home. We're going to be extremely careful right now. <laughs> We're going to pour the wax in. Ready? Three, two, one. one. We first five seconds of subscribe challenge. We want to see if you can subscribe to this channel and turn on the channel post notifications in five seconds. Seconds. Are you ready? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, done. If you can do that, comment down below, Keeper Squad, right now. So here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, 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 oh! Okay, right there. Boom. That is it. Whoa! Dude, look at mine. I actually added crayons in it. So if you want to color it, you can add crayons. Time to add my last bit here. Oh! oh dude, the yes. precision! Yes! I feel like a puppet master right now. Dude, if this works, this will be crazy. We'll be trying these at the end of the video. Next up, we're turning an orange into a juice bottle. All right, first step is done. Well, that's the wrong first step, though. You're supposed to tenderize it first, Devin. Wait, what? I'm actually really surprised because tenderizing, it brings out a ton of juices, which I did not expect. Dude, so. yeah, I mean, look at mine. There's actually some juice already. All right, here we go. Let's just uh, it's it, a spatula. I don't know. It's like it's like Pancake to flip your orange. Wow. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Mid air catch. Oh, oh! what? Oh! oh, oh, three times. Oh! All right, done with these steps. Now it's time to cut off the top of the bottle. As you do that, time to cut off the top of my orange and see how juicy it is on the inside. Oh! Whoa. Not as bad as lemon juice in the eye, but still, orange juice in the eye is not fun. <laughs> Boom, it's out. We got the little stem. Let's see how juicy it is. Here we go. The squeeze. Yeah. Yeah, let me, let me see yours. Yeah. Oh, wow. Time for me to follow in your footsteps and uh, cut off the top of the bottle. Gotta sneeze. Put the orange under your nose. It'll actually help you not sneeze. That actually worked. All right, now it's time to put this top on just like this. We've got some hot glue. We're gonna be very careful and do not try this at home. Time to seal the bottle cap onto the orange. You know what? I think mine is actually going pretty well. All right, the tops are glued on. And dude, I think mine looks way cooler than yours. Yeah, but mine is gonna work way better than yours. So right now it's time to go out. test them out. For this one, we're turning slime into an eraser. Oh, dude, we're kind of making oobla. Gotta be super careful because this stuff will just go crazy all of a sudden. All right, next up, time to mix it around. I'm actually curious if this is gonna create oobla or not. Oh boy. Get a pinch of baking soda just like this. All right. Maybe the baking soda is what actually turns this into the eraser. Ironically, I'm going to use a pencil to mix it up. Yours is a lot more finely mixed than mine is. And now for the final step, we got to add the activator. So we're going to take uh, this off. Oh, man. You're on the final step already. I'm right on the final step. This is actually very unusual that I'm beating you in this. Yours looks all chunky and funky. Time to go in with the hands. Here we go. Just going to scoop it around. Uh, oh, man. Should have rolled up my sleeve. This might not be an eraser, but it turns into slime. And it feels like oobleck. Like it has the same kind of like sandy feeling almost. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, see, here's the issue. I don't have enough activator in it right now because it's just, it's all sticking. My hands. Let's this get this like off. This is like dough, bro. What if I dip it into the activator? It's gonna dip it in and we'll pull it out. Here we go. Dip it in. Pull it out. Okay, there we go. That. I need some of that. Uh, I need some of that. Oh, I wanted to add food coloring, bro. Oh, you haven't had food coloring? I gotta do yeah, it. Yeah, you gotta do that real yep. quick, bro. It's like dough. You can just stretch it out, but you do not want to break it. The blue isn't mixing in. Because yours is blue, I'm gonna make mine red. So we're gonna put some oh, red food right. coloring in it here. Gonna kind of let it drip down. Oh, no, no, oh, I'm losing control. Oh, this like really this. does feel like an eraser. Mine looks kind of like a rose right now. Like, like a weird white rose that's somewhat red. All right, here we go. At long last, time to fold in the last little piece right here. Boom. All right, and now I can actually mix in freedom. This might turn out cooler than just making the whole thing red because it's gonna be all marbled and red. Oh. I wonder if it bounces. Dude, see if you can bounce oh, it. Oh, you ready? Three, two, one. Oh! This is like three things at once. It's an eraser, allegedly. It's also bouncy and it's like a squishy because you can just squish it. It's so satisfying. It's also a discus. <laughs> all right, now it's time to write on the paper and see if it will really erase it. I'm gonna choose a colored pencil. This might throw it all off. And I'm gonna try a non-colored pencil. I shouldn't choose the color red because that's the exact same color of my slime. We'll go green. Here we go. I'm gonna do a little happy face. So here oh, we go. I was oh, about to do a happy face. You can clearly tell where my pancake art skills come from. There we go, my dude. Look at him. He's very, very, very. <laughs> We've got the erasers, and the real question is: is it actually going to work? And we'll be testing this at the end of the video. You challenge us to turn a hair dryer into a vacuum cleaner. So right now, let's go. Hey! hey here we go. High five. Hey! Oh, oh, oh. Now it's time to create the back of my vacuum. And now it's time to secure my vacuum bag in place. I don't know really what it's called, but basically this thing is gonna catch all the little particles over here. You're what? only using one scissors. I've got what? two scissors. Do not try this at home, especially not with a hair dryer. That That's right. seems here to be doing a lot more destruction than actual cutting. All right, so gonna hot glue this again. Do not do this at home. And the issue is mine's kind of all jagged from the way that I cut it. Now we're just gonna have to line the inside. All right, now it's time to add it to the back here. Here we go, just gonna put it on like that. Oh, I nice. smeared the glue. I mean, it feels pretty airtight to me. How about yours? <laughs> yep, mine's airtight. <laughs> These actually look. <laughs> Let's just turn them on really quick to see what happens. Ready? Oh! oh hey. 
<laughs> like a little sock puppet dude. It's like, hey, what's up? The vacuum's are made. The real question is, is this thing really gonna work? We'll be testing at the end of the video. And right now, we're on to the next one. Now that oh, is a lot of gum no. stuck in your jeans. It is not coming off. Yeah. Take some ice cubes. Just put ice cubes on top of this. We'll freeze the gum and allow you to peel it off effortlessly. All right, I think it's frozen enough. Ooh. So here it is, right. the moment of truth. Yes. Let's see if this works. You ready? Can you give it a little peel right over here? Oh! oh so this side started. Hold on. Let's, let's try to get up this side over here. How? The back side's coming up. Dude! How is this possible? It's coming up. Okay, so we got off this little bit right over here. Nice. Okay, like it's not all the way frozen. So maybe we just haven't waited long enough yet, but like we waited a long time. Like this took like 10 minutes. We need more ice. I got a little mini spatula. Let's see if this oh. helps at all. So I want to see if we Durable. can just kind of like push off some of it like this. I don't know if this is necessarily a win yet. Oh, well, okay. Oh, look what? at that. That's like that's a big chunk at once. I'm actually happy this is working because now we can get this off your pants. My pants? Yeah, these are your pants. You didn't recognize them? Why would you grab my pants? Well, because they're new and you haven't worn them yet. And I thought, well, like you probably don't know if you like them. Let's turn to an alternative solution right now. Excuse me. All right, here we go. Whoa, dude. What? These I, are my new pants. I know. I can't have you going out with gum on your pants. Well, you know what, dude? I think this hack actually works. So you get to comment down below. Do you think this is actually a win or a fail? You challenge us to use an iron for cooking. I'm gonna be making a whole bunch of egg dishes. And I'm making a grilled cheese sandwich. Dude, I wonder if I can toast my bread. Come on, some steamed bread. Oh, 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 I didn't want a steamed bread. Why dude? not? You I mean, don't want soggy bread. Uh, dude, I don't know if I'm doing this right. It just made it flat. Three, two, one. There we go. Oh, oh, it's actually working. Oh, all right, doing the other side. Nice. All right, gonna make a sunny side up egg. Now it's time to add the iron. Oh, I wonder if I can cook it like this. Dude, dude it's low key cooking the egg up a little Whoa. bit. Okay, I wonder what this button does. Whoa. And I'm not gonna press that button again. All right, all right. three. Two, one, wait, wait, three second like challenge. We want to see if you can like this video in three seconds. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, two one, done. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, dude. I'm here it's sizzling. It smells, uh, it smells burnt. Yo! Oh, look at that. Dude, it worked. Dude, that did not work. Oh, it's like all caked on, too. All right, it's past the toast test. The toast test works with the irons. I'm going to get my eggs off of here. And if you ever use an iron, be very careful and never use it for the purposes that we're using it for. Wait, wait, wait. I got it. Balance is on point. There we go. Okay. I got it. No, 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 no. This is not a sandwich. This is sunny side up. When have you steamed your sunny side up? <laughs> All right, as you do that, I'm going to make some scrambled eggs. So I'm just going to put that over there. But first, I'm going to try to make an omelet. So here we go. Hey, oh, it's going to be a very shelly omelet. This is taking way longer than I expected. Well, yeah, it's just cooking, bro. <laughs> Set this off to the side and let's just add in a whole bunch of eggs. Well, we have a problem. I didn't use any Pam, so this is thoroughly stuck. Come on, Devin. What's the, the first thing you learn when cooking with an iron? You use Pam. I've never done this before, man. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You got it. Dude, you're so close, dude. The suspense. Yeah. Oh. Yes! No way! Fully made sunny side up piece of bread. Bam! <laughs> gonna grab a bunch of cheese. Now I put this piece of bread on top like this. Nicely done. Now I'm gonna wrap this up in the tin foil it's like this. Oh no! Dude, did you get it? I got it on my mark! No! All right, we know I'm gonna clear out the shells right now. Use some steam. Life hack: If you don't have a spatula, you can use your hands to make scrambled eggs. There's no way I'm eating that. Uh-uh. So here we go. Just gonna grab some cheese in here. Just sprinkle this in. I feel like an artist right now. Very pretty. I'm right, making the perfect batch of scrambled eggs. How does it feel? It feels kind of like slimy from the eggs, but then there's like this weird kind of rubbery texture from the cheese. All right, I'm gonna flip mine over and see how this works. All right, so here we go. Let's just uh, steam this thing up. Whoa! Look at that, man. Here we go. Three, two, two. one. Oh! Can you hear it sizzling? Oh! It's working for sure, dude. Did you hear that? Yep. Steam it. Ah! <laughs> you gotta give me some sort of warning. Ah! Uh. Oh, I even did it myself and it scared me. Dude, look at it. It's bubbling. It's bubbling. Uh. Dude, this is like low key actually working, and I did not think it would, bro. This yeah, is man. so cool. Now, the real question is how is this gonna taste? <laughs> that face sets it all. Not great. It's actually turning into scrambled eggs. Like, if you look at the consistency, like, it's turning into scrambled eggs, man. This is so cool. Oh, snap. All right, well, I'm going to be finishing this up. And at the end of the video, I will be eating my scrambled eggs. And we'll find out if this thing actually works. And if it tastes good. So stick around for that. And right now, we are on to the next one. You challenge us to turn a lemon into a spray bottle. So right now, let's go. Before we can stick the sprayer into the lemon, we need to tenderize the lemon to get the juices out. So here we go. Really you know, massage we, it. You I know, can almost like hear the juices. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sounds like the ocean in there, man. It is smelling super zesty in here, bro. Oh, most definitely, man. It's, it's kind of what I expected, though. My lemon is tenderized enough, and now it's time to cut off the top, and the DIY is almost done. This one's yep. super easy, but the real question is, is it going to work? All right, here we go. Time to stick it in. Ow! Oh, oh man, that hurt. Oh, oh, my gosh. We'll be doing this in just a little bit, and right now, we're on to the next one. We've got all the hacks, and now it's time to test them out to see if they actually work. Do not try this at home. Ready, Ready set, set go. go. Turn it on. Let's see if it works. Oh! oh dude! No way. This is crazy. Bro. 
Oh, like, okay, we said like a much smaller quantity, I but know. Like, you can see it in here. Dude, Dude, it totally worked. All right, here is the artwork, and it's time to reveal it. I think mine's gonna look amazing. What we have to do now is just peel all of this off. Three, Three two, two, one. What? Super satisfying, go for it. Okay. Oh, oh and we have a huge announcement. You've been asking for it, and we're doing a live hey. stream. How do they watch the live stream? It's super easy. All you have to do is become a member of our brand new Keeper Club, and when you become a member, you'll get exclusive access to merch discount codes, custom emojis, loyalty badges that show how long you've been a member for and exclusive content you can't see anywhere else. And you might be thinking, this is gonna cost more than $20 a month, but no, $19.99. Nope, it's only $4.99. Wait, what? Only $4.99, dude, are you sure? Absolutely, so what? click the top link in the description to claim your membership and join the Keeper Club right now. Oh! Yeah! No, don't yeah, get it no, on my don't get it, don't get on my bro, sorry, this is so satisfying. Whoa! Oh, that looks so good. Nicely done. Oh, the Lego guy from like the Lego movie. Yeah. You get to comment down below who made better shaving cream art. We got the hand candles and first of all, we got to remove the gloves. Whoa, first of all, look on the inside, bro. This is like what? super fragile. Ta-da! They look like oh. little sausage fingers. Look at that. The thumb is the most difficult part because if I can get, the, get, get off the thumb. No! Oh! Did you break it? <laughs> Not yet, we're good. Say it like this. Perfect, okay. I mean, yours looks really cool. I'm gonna set this down. We're gonna yep. cut off the wicks because they're, they're too far away so the candle would never get close to the fingers. Three, Three two, two, one. one. I'm gonna start with the thumb first. Here we go. I'm thumb is on. This finger. Oh no, we cut him too short. No, 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 there we go, my thumb's on, okay. Oh, come on, come on, there come we on, go. come on, you can do it. Yes. There we, hey! Oh no, yours, yours right now. Let me help you out, let me help you out. Oh, this thumb is stubborn. Yes! Yes! Dude, so this actually worked. Like, this is totally a complete works. win. Oh, oh no, I blew what? up one of the what? fingers. What? All right, we've got the lemon sprayers and we're gonna test them out. Yo, dude, I just thought about it. What? This is gonna spray out like this, so oh. if you miss your aim, you can hit your eye very easily. All right, here we go. Ready, set, go. Ah! What? Wait, wait, wait. Mine didn't work. Your mind didn't work. Dude, what did you do differently? I don't know. I really didn't do anything different, I don't think. Yeah, well, maybe I did a little oh, bit different. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh I saw it. Oh, I saw it. There was a little bit it. that came out. Now it doesn't work. Now it doesn't work at all. Yes. So this actually worked, and right now we're on to the next one. So my scrambled eggs are cooked. We got a sunny side up egg. All right, here we go. Time to take our first little bit. So I'm gonna use my knife here, the very civilized manner. Ooh. Yo, mine's like weirdly stringy and gooey. Well, maybe it's actually the iron itself. Like maybe the iron did something goofy to it. This really worked. Yeah, it did. I just want to say this iron was brand new and only used for the cooking of this. And do not use an iron for cooking. It is not the way it's meant to be used. So uh, right now, three, two, two one. one. I want to do this. No, actually, it's the same. I don't know how to describe it. It's like gooey and gooey and disgusting. Next up, we got these orange bottles. Gotta very carefully unscrew the top. All right, here we go. Three, two, two one. That's it. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh. oh. All right, I if mean, I squeeze it, more comes out. That's, that's kind of interesting. Mine's kind of oh, leaking. No. no, the cap fell off of mine. But your cap is staying in? Yeah. Let me see if I just kind of like juice it like this. Oh. Mine's leaking though, but yeah. All right, well, this one was definitely a fail. I guess we're on to the next one. We've got the slime erasers, and now let's actually see if these work. What's the ideal shape, do you think, for this though? I don't know. It's like a kneaded eraser. A what? Like you need an eraser? <laughs> what? No. If you're going to go for like a thinner one, I think I'm just yeah. going to go for like, like a giant chunk of it. So, all right, all right here we go. Ready? Set, Set go. go! Oh! No way! It actually works! Dude, it works on the colored pencil too, bro! No way! It's not fully gone, but it is totally working! Oh my gosh! I cannot believe this worked! And Dude. comment down below what color eraser do you want to make? And right now we're on to the next one. Let's see if it turned purple! Three, two, one! Oh, oh my gosh! What? Why is it not purple? Wait, did I you grab the wrong one? I grabbed the wrong watermelon. Yeah, let's go grab the right one. How but did you do that? Still tastes good. I've got the right melon, and dude, you can already tell it's getting colored on the inside. Dude, I know. I can't wait to see the inside of this, bro. The real question, though, is has it made its way all the way through the melon to color the whole thing? The best way to find out is to cut a little slice out of the side of it. I'm going to cut out the slice, and if you do this at home, be very careful yes. with using knives. Just going to put it right here. Oh, man. It's, oh, it's a little bit stuck. I think I got it. I think I got it. I'm going to have like, more of like a watermelon square than I am actually a little slice of it. I got to be honest. All right, time to stick the craft sticks in it and see if these actually change colors, man. Do you got it? No. All right, here we go. The big reveal. Time to see if it actually changed colors. Here we go. Three, two, two oh, one. Yeah. If you want to win a 15-minute video call with Devin and I, text the word LIFE to 81800 right now. So pause the video, text the word LIFE to 81800. You'll automatically be entered into win. And right now, let's see if this works. Ready? Here we go. Ready, Ready set, set, go. Oh, Whoa. dude, it worked. I can't believe it. Like, dude, yeah, it's on the inside and everything, wow. dude. All right, then. Now, here's the real question, Devin. Yeah? How does it taste? Oh, no. You should give it a taste, bro. So, like, just smell it. See how it smells. Uh, it smells good? Cabbage. No. It smells no, like cabbage? Three, two, two one. one. That's it? Yeah. 
Ah, doesn't taste good? Not really. Kinda good, maybe the flavors are combining together, no? No. Well, you get to comment down below, what is your favorite food we should use in a life hack video? Click uh. over here, if you wanna see another video, you have five seconds, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, done. Yeah. Love you, bye. This is not a carnival, Evan, this is Mount Shaquana. I forgot the name again. Time to get in here with the hands and really make some great looking art. So this is like pure shaving cream. It feels like a cloud. I would just do one of the squeegees over the top and be done. Why use a squeegee when you can use a hand Ouija? Because it's... <laughs> Look at that. Does that look smeared? Yeah, that, that, that was a little smeared. really smeared. Look Why at your hand, dude. Oh, no! Here we go. It's got a Ouija, 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 Ouija. 